The Houston Rockets had one of the best off seasons this year and are going to be one of the surprise teams this upcoming season with all the moves they've made. First, they signed Ime Udoka to coach the team, who was an awesome coach in Boston, obviously leaves with some controversy, but now he comes to Houston and has a chance to really show what he's able to do as a coach, bring a culture there, a mindset, and really turn this team around in ways they haven't been able to in the past. This is easily one of the worst coach teams in the last couple of years, and just signing Ime Udoka means they're going to be that much better. They also made some big signings in the offseason that raised some eyebrows, but they're looking pretty good for this team. First, they signed Fred Van Vliet for a huge contract. They then signed Dylan Brooks for a four-year $80 million contract. And you look at those numbers and you think they're huge, but with the upcoming cap expanding and the fact that they had to get someone on this team, they can't just be a full team of rookies. They look pretty good. And when you look at Dylan Brooks and what he's doing in FIBA play and how well he's defending and playing off of SGA, he looks like a type of culture guy that, yes, if he's not on your team, you hate the guy, but if he's on your team, you love him. He plays hard, plays defense. And then you add that to Fred Van Vliet and then all the young talent they have on this team with a new head coach, it looks really good. They also had a fantastic draft, probably the best draft in the league. They get Amen Thompson after dropping in the draft, and I know Rockets fans had to be sad about dropping, but then they come out with Amen Thompson, and in his one game in Summer League looked fantastic. You then get Cam Whitmore late in the draft at 20, and he was awesome in Summer League when Summer League MVP shows all the talent in the world and has a chance to actually develop with this team. A player like Cam Whitmore on another team that was good might not get time on the floor, but with this team, the veterans, he'll get bench time and may work his way into the starting lineup even. We'll see, but, but this team is going to be really exciting to see how they go this season and how they develop who starts who doesn't and how many wins they get because they have a chance to be a play-in team this season let's take a look at who their starting lineup is going to be with their new additions. I think Fred Van Vliet is for sure starting at point guard for this team. Dylan Brooks is going to play shooting guard next to him. You've got Jalen Green that hopefully makes that leap that everyone's hoping for in efficiency. We know he's got the athleticism. He's got the ability to get his own shot, but can he make it this year? Can he become that elite scoring option that everyone is hoping for and expecting? Then Jabari Smith, who was absolutely electric in summer league, showed why he was such a big pick last year. I think he comes in at the four spot and you've got a team that can absolutely spread the floor and score and then Alper and Shangoon at the center spot this team offensively is going to be absolutely incredible they are going to be young athletic they are going to be scoring at all different levels and they're also improving defensively with players like Fred Van Vliet, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith these players know how to defend and this team actually might be pretty decent defensively if they're in the top 20 de defensively I think they have a chance to be really surprising this year and a team that no one wants to face mid-season when you're trying to get those wins and you've got to face a young athletic team that's going to wear you down and has depth. A trade prediction for this team, I actually think this team might be a team that could consider trading for Carl Anthony Towns and bring him on this team. With Carl Anthony Towns' ability to shoot the ball, it would fit with everything everyone else does on this team. I think Alperin Shangun might be someone that you could trade that for, although the Timberwolves don't really need a center, so maybe you look at trading one of your young assets to bring in Carl Anthony Towns to be that center that spreads the ball. And maybe you move Alperin Shangun for something else, maybe another veteran of some sort, to really solidify this team and then build around your best young players. I think this team has a chance to really get even better during trade deadline with all the young players and assets to bring in some some veterans that might want to stay long term. And finally, what's going to happen with this team at the end of the season? I actually think this team has a chance to play for the 10 seed. That's my prediction. I think they're going to be fun. I think they're going to be interesting. And I think they can go for that number 10 spot and try to get into the playoffs. Guys, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel. A huge shout out to the members of the channel who support everything we're doing. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support the channel, just hit join. I would appreciate it. Talk to you next time.